Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're continuing in the second book of Samuel in chapter 17. Moreover, Ahithophel said unto Absalom, Let me now choose out twelve thousand men, and I will arise and pursue after David this night. And I will come upon him while he is weary and weak-handed, and will make him afraid. And all the people that are with him shall flee, and I will smite the king only. And I will bring back all the people unto thee. The man whom thou seekest is as if all returned, so all the people shall be in peace. And the saying pleased Absalom well, and all the elders of Israel then said Absalom, Call now Hushai, the Archite, also, and let us hear likewise what he hath saith, or what he saith. And when Hushai was come to Absalom, Absalom spake unto him, saying, Ahithophel has spoken after this manner. Shall we do after his saying? If not, speak thou. And Hushai said unto Absalom, The counsel that Ahithophel hath given thee is not good as at, at this time. For, said Hushai, thou knoweth thy father and his men, that they be mighty men, and they be chafed or enraged in their minds, as a bear robbed of her whelps in the field. And thy father is a man of war, and will not lodge with the people. Behold, he is hid now in some pit or in some other place, and it will come to pass, when some of them be overthrown at the first, that whosoever heareth it will say, There is a slaughter among all the people that follow Absalom. And he also that is valiant, whose heart is as a heart of a lion, shall utterly melt. For all Israel knoweth that thy father is a mighty man, and they which be with him are valiant men. Therefore I counsel that all Israel be generally gathered unto thee, from Dan even to Beersheba, as the sand that is by the sea for multitude, and that thou go to battle in thine own person. So shall we come upon him in some place where he shall be found, and we will light upon him as the dew falleth on the ground. And of him and of all the men that are with him, there shall not be left so much as one. Moreover, if he be gotten into a city, then shall all Israel bring ropes to that city, and we will draw it into the river until there is be not one small stone left there. And Absalom and all the men of Israel said, The counsel of Hushai the Archite is better than the counsel of Ahithophel, for the Lord hath appointed to defeat the good counsel of Ahithophel, Ahith to the intent that the Lord might bring evil upon Absalom. Then said Hushai unto Zadok and to Abiathar the priest, Thus and thus did Ahiath Ophelia counsel Absalom and the elders of Israel, and thus and thus have I counseled. Now therefore send quickly and tell David, saying, Lodge not this night in the plains of the wilderness, but speedily pass over, lest the king be swallowed up and all the people that are with him. Now Jonathan and Ahimaaz stayed by in gro in ro in ro gel, for they might not be seen to come into the city, and a wench went and told them, and they went and told King David. Nevertheless, a lad saw them and told Absalom, but they went both of them away quickly, and came to a man's house in Bahurim, which had a well in his court, whither they went down whither they went down. They went down into it. And the woman took and spread a covering over the well's mouth and spread 
ground corn thereon, and the king was not known. And when Absalom's servants came to the woman to the house, they said, Where is Ahimaaz and Joab, Jonathan? And the woman said unto them, They be gone over the brook of water. And when they had sought and could not find them, they returned to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, after they were departed, that they came up out of the well, and went and told King David, and said unto David, Arise, and pass quickly over the water, for thus saith Ahith Ophel, counseled against you. Then David arose, and all the people that were with him, and they passed over Jordan. By the morning light there lacked not one of them that was not gone over Jordan. And when Ahith Ophel saw that his counsel was not followed, he saddled his ass and arose and got him home to his house, to his city, and put his household in order, and hanged himself and died and was buried in the scepter of his father. Then David came to Mahanaim, and Absalom, Absalom passed over Jordan, he and all the men of Israel with him. And Absalom made uh, Amasa captain of the host instead of Joab, which Amasa was a man's son, whose name was Ithra, an Israelite, that went to Abigail, the daughter of Nahash, sister to Zeruiah, Joab's mother. So Israel and Absalom pitched in the land of Gilead. And it came to pass when David was come to Manahanaim, that Shobi, the son of Nahash, of Rabbah, of the children of Ammon, and Machar, the son of Emiliel, of Lod Lodabar, and Barzillia, the Gileadite of Rogelim, brought beds and basins and earthen vessels, and wheat and barley and flour and parched corn, and beans and lentils and parched pulse and honey, and butter, and sheep, and cheese of Klein, for David, and for the people that were with him, to eat. For they said, The people is hungry, and weary, and thirsty in the wilderness. God is watching over David, and Absalom has some dastardly deeds planned. To think that David, so honorable, Twice he could have taken Saul's life and wouldn't dare do it because he was God's anointed. And Absalom, I think he's like Satan and his beauty has gone to his head. And he's full of pride and thinks that he can um, do whatever he wishes to do and take over the kingdom and kill the king. Kill his father for his throne. I'm sure God wouldn't smile on that. And I seriously doubt he's going to let him get away with it. And as always, you got to tune in tomorrow to find out what's happening. <laughs> I love you.